so when they made the announcement that we were um, going to start construction on an arena, um, I went around the university and scouted out places. No one asked me to do this. No one asked for any feedback either. Um, but I was like, that'd be a cool place to put it. That'd be pretty awesome. It's amazing uh, how quickly it, it felt like it happened um, now, looking back on it, but um, when you're in the, in the heat of it and, and the heat of construction, it just feels like, is this ever gonna be built? We were really getting antsy in the, in the spring, um, I guess the spring of 2018 and in the summer. When are we gonna get in? When are, when are we gonna be able to shoot in there? And our guys were as well. Um, just giddy. It almost felt like felt like Christmas Eve, um, and then we were able to to hold our first practice in here, uh, September, and uh, the energy level was great. Um, and part of that was because of the anticipation for for getting in here. I'm it's season number one uh, in the beautiful new Shar Center. How excited uh, are you and, and your teammates to? to be able to play in that facility this year. Oh, it's incredible. It's a fantastic facility, and, and we feel so lucky for um, you know being, having the opportunity to be the first team, uh, you know, to kind of break it in. It's been a dream in our program for a long time to play in a first-class facility. But living in it now, with our players uh, having access to it on a daily basis, it, it exceeds my expectations. It exceeds our players' expectations. Now, when people in the in the area um, say, "Oh, Elon's playing. Elon's got a game tonight," well, let's go to their awesome new arena. And I think that gives them a window into the program. And then once they get in, man, I get to come watch these kids who, some of whom are on NBA draft boards. Some, some guys in the program, some guys that we play against. This league is really good. Um, oh, by the way, UNC is going to come and play here. It just really magnifies um, and, and, you know, uncovers for some people um, what's the truth, which this is big time basketball. Welcome to the new home of Elon Basketball. The Phoenix debut tonight at the brand new Shar Center and who visits the eighth ranked Tar Heels make the 45 minute drive to Burlington, North Carolina. All those, all those little nuances of Alumni Gym were different with, with Shar Center. And so um, it was an adjustment, but, but it was really, really exciting as you see people trickle in as you, you see the, the fans and a lot of maroon, mostly maroon, um, come down to the lower level. About 90 minutes before the game, I was able to really focus in on our guys and our players and really try to block out the noise, this time the literal noise, um, because there was a buzz in, in, the, in the arena. To have the students in the community out and supporting the way that they did, the, the excitement was an all-time high and our energy was, was spiked and we were excited. We were excited for the opportunity to start this season for the challenge that was ahead of us. The lights went out and we had the, the pre-game intro video and um, you could just feel the buzz and, and then when the, the video ended, um, fans were fired up. Fans were ready. Um, big time basketball was here. For almost 70 years, they called Alumni Gym home. This place triples the old home for the men's basketball program. Uh, this is an impressive facility, and they are excited. I'm ready to get this thing going tonight. We, we bring it down to our student section so we can hear them going crazy and everyone's excited. You know, there had been some discussion about who was going to be the first one to to score at the Shar Center in the regular season. And uh, it was funny, I remember, you know, every time we said it, we were like, of course, we're not really thinking about it. You know, and I 
and happened to get a good position in the post and Sheldon gave a great inbounds pass and uh, I just made my move to the middle and it came back for the fadeaway and I mean the crowd from and the tip to that moment was already uh, incredible and once that shot landed. toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the best teams in the country for 10, 12, 15 minutes. Our guys know that that's not enough. Um, but I think it was really cool for them to get the feeling, hey, we can, we can compete. We can play. You can see it on their faces when they make a play early on. Hey, I can, we can play. You know, we can, we can do this. We can play with anybody. win at this level it takes it takes a lot it takes a lot of focus and it, you can't just rely on talent or scoring or whatever and I think for the young guys and a lot of you know for everybody it's always that reminder that uh, you need to be ready to go at all times regardless of the outcome it was a special night uh, it's been a, an event talked about for a long long time and uh, First thing I'd like to say is for, for Coach Williams and North Carolina to be willing uh, to help us open up Shar Center for uh, the men's basketball game was, was really special. I like Nats Club, uh, beautiful facility. Uh, hopefully their fans uh, got comfortable in those seats and they'll come back and give them the kind of support every game. wish we would have played a little bit better and, and the first half we went toe to toe for uh, the first 10 12 minutes we did a lot of good things and North Carolina is good we knew the challenge coming in we knew we were playing against a very good team that would challenge us in a lot of different ways it was good to get confidence from that but it was also very good for our guys to, to realize the hunger that they've got um, inside uh, for more and, and to do that every day.